There's no such thing as lucky. Luck is when other people describe somebody's hard work. Luck is actually when hard work bumps up into opportunity. It's, it's, no, it's no such thing as luck. There's a thing called grace and favor, but it ain't no such thing as luck. Luck is in Vegas. Luck ain't in life. The rest of life is grace and favor. God passes out grace, his unmerited grace. You can't earn it, you can't buy it. You know, that's why you hear old people say that old song, all I want is a little more grace, because you can't buy it. If I could get anything in this life, I would ask for more grace, because you can't buy it. If you could buy it, I'd take every dollar I had and put it into grace, grace and, and favor. That's what I get. But Success is a series of principles. Anybody can be successful if you apply the principles of success. And one of the biggest principles that most people miss out on is gratitude. The reason some people aren't getting what they want in life is because they ain't even grateful for what they have. I mean, God is a really smart God, you know what I mean? If he gives you something and you're not grateful for it, why would he give you some more stuff to not be grateful for I mean, he just keeps waking you up. He then gave you somewhere to stay. You got something to drive. You got food to eat. You got clothes to wear. You got some love in your life. You got a family. But you'll never say thank you for that. If you really want to start changing the way you receive stuff, you got to start being grateful for where you are. That's one of the major principles of success. See, successful people, man, are not smarter than you. I'm not nicer than anybody in this room. I'm not smarter. I ain't got no education. I just messed around and learned the principles of success. I just learned how to wake up every morning with gratitude. Now, think what you want to think about me as a Christian, because I'm not the best Christian, but I never said I was. I'm an entry-level Christian. I do entry-level Christianity, that's all. But that's all I need to do. Because see, you don't know who I was before I became a Christian. See, people don't know what God saved me from. People tell me, you ought to be better than that. No, 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 I'm fine. You, you don't know where I was. But you can't judge my walk with Christ because it ain't like yours. We come from two different places. And where I'm from, just entry-level Christianity, that's all I need. See, here's the deal. This is why I'm, I figure I got a shot. There's none perfect, no, not one. That's a fact. So if there's none perfect, who is going to heaven? I'm assuming there's going to be a lot of non-perfect people up there. So what y'all ought to do is hope like I'm hoping is that he grading on a curve. <laughs> See, I've got about a 70 right now. 70, which in real life is like a low C. But a 70 to get into heaven might be a low A. And I'm in. Because if ain't nobody perfect, who going to heaven? So I just do the best I can. We all going to come short of the glory, right? We all know that. So Jesus is on shore. There's three Christians out on the boat. And they will decide that they're going to swim to shore to see Jesus. First Christian dive in the water. He swim 50 yards. He sank and drowned. The next Christian dives in the water, and he swims 150 yards. The last Christian dives in the water and swims five feet from the shore. He sinks and he drowns. Which one of them was the better Christian? They all sank and drowned. So what difference does it make if you swam 50, 150, and you got five minutes from the shore? You're going to all come short of the glory of God. See, so quit tripping and judging people for where they're at in life. I ain't gonna make it to the shore, but guess what? You ain't either. Everybody cool with that? I'm going to heaven. 